podcast first lit up the screens in the hit movie Queen and Slim, and now she's starring in a new film, The Independent. Take a look. What you trying to do? You want to talk by line? No, I just, I don't think. Who is the whistleblower? You stole it? It's everything we need. They don't give purposes to shoplifters. I hate a dead end, and so I made a judgment call. Something this big, the ends justify the means. The ends? For who? For you? No, the American people. I should have you fired. You're the one who should be fired. You are phoning it in right in the middle of one of the most crucial elections of both of our lifetimes. Where's the integrity in that? Please welcome Johnny Turner Smith! She's a Queen and Slim, girl, I had to go find them boots. I tried to have your hairstyle, everything, like you're out here setting trends. <laughs> I got about three pair of those boots backstage right now because of you. I have to say that. Listen, Beyonce wore them, okay? She uh-huh. came to the after party and she put the boots on. And I, I and look, I never saw Beyonce at the after party. <laughs> she wasn't there when I was there, obviously. She was like, kind of nearby. Wow. But I saw a photo of her with the boots on, and I was like, oh my God, Beyonce, you see what you inspired? Don't make me Oh my goodness. I just have to say, number one, I'm so excited to be here. Number two, my mother is very jealous that she wasn't able to come tonight. Aww. Okay, so my mom lives with me, multi-generational family, mm-hmm. and she's in Jamaica because it's her birthday. Oh, it's her birthday. Yes. And you know, see, yes, can you be, I was wondering if you could say happy birthday. That is so sweet. Okay, so you're known for your your fashion and the way you set trends uh, on the red carpets and things like that. Like, are you aware of that? You know what? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Where do you get your sense of style from? You know what? I, my whole objective all the time is to just have a lot of fun. And I feel like I'm, my stylist and I, Wayman and Micah, shout out Wayman and Micah, you're mm-hmm. amazing. We're in the pocket, do you know what I mean? So it's like, they know, we talk about what I want, I'm a Virgo. Like, you're a Virgo too? What's your birthday? September 7th. Oh, September 12th. <gasps> Who's a Virgo? Look at that. I didn't know that. So you know, it's like, we have to be very involved <laughs> and controlling about it all. <laughs> Yeah, I'm constantly sending them pictures, but honestly, for me, it's really about, like, having fun and, like, I don't know, it's, I get to, when, like, going to things, like, when I get to go to movie premieres and stuff, it's, like, combining two of my favorite things, films and getting dressed up. <laughs> films and getting dressed up. Oh, tell us about your film, The Independent. Yes. Oh my God, the fact that I even got to work with Brian Cox, who I'm such a big fan of, who's such a talented actor. The Independent is a political thriller. It's about an investigative journalist played by me, mm. who, uh, I'm, you know, and Brian plays my mentor in the movie. And we uncover this conspiracy that um, one of the, the candidates for the presidency for the United States of America is involved in. And so it's this really fun, like, cat and mouse game of trying to, first of all, uncover, like, this mystery of what's actually going on. And then it's also a story about speaking truth to power, no matter what direction that takes you in, which I think is so relevant right now, where, you know, it's facts are in question, you know what I mean? And, and yes, ma'am. Yeah. That is amazing. What you doing is- just like a Virgo. The Independent is streaming now on Peacock Will Be. Right back, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> 